Hey, good evening, YouTube. So, I got my near beer. So, this is not an alcoholic beer because we're doing dry January. It's kind of funny. Um, so, uh, Jim from Jim Saws and stuff makes fun of me and like grills me a bit that I can, you know, can't have real beer right now. But uh, my buddy Adam, he said the best thing. And he said, non alcoholic beer is kind of like watching porn on the radio. I thought that was pretty flippin' funny. Anyways, so this is a saw I got off eBay. I have a saw just like this. Uh, this is a Husqvarna 55 in here. This is a parts one. So I bought that one in Cochrane, and uh, that's really nice saw. It will get ported, like a mild port job. And it's going to be just like a, a work saw kind of thing, or a firewood saw. This one I want to build. It has nothing to do with Bodie's uh, Novice Lumberjacks thing. Uh, this is because prior to Tazapalooza last year, talking to Evan, he has a channel. His channel is uh, 82F100SWB. I'll put the link in the description. He built a 50 where he put, did a full circle crank, put a partner 5000 top end on it, and just screamed. And then I went to Tazapalooza, and Josh from JK Saw Shop, he had a 55 or 51 that was built up, and it just screamed. And that just made me want to build one. So, that's what we have right here. I mean, the other one I got, obviously, it's uh, a good saw. This one's a little rough. That was really rough, missing parts. But thankfully, all these parts you can get on AliExpress for a song and a dance. So apparently, the cylinder's good on here. I have an 026 or 028 uh, steel piston for this. So, it's going to get. Uh, High compression build. There she is, in all her roughness. We're gonna take a good look at it. Um, see what's what. See how bad it is or how good it is. I said the piston was good, this thing sure as hell feels locked up. But I'm not going to force it because... Hmm. A little bit about that because... I said the piston and cylinder are good. It's missing parts. I got it pretty cheap, but she feels grimy. I'm sorry, the furnace is kicking in, so I'll try to talk louder so people can hear me. It's the biggest complaint on the channel. Okay, so... Why is this so crusty? That's what I want to find out. She be crusty. Looks like it sat outside for years. Well, they said the cylinder was good, but I, I don't know. If the cylinder's not good, I'm gonna cold bullshit on the cylinder. This piece will not go back on. I don't like those pieces. I understand they serve a purpose. Let's see what else Everything is. Where it goes after. Well. Okay, well. hard it is to turn over. There's a I don't think goods are very relative. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not too happy right now because this, this thing is a little seized up. I'm going to start keep taking the part and see what I find. Is what it is. I'm stuck with it now. Go get a discount. And 
shipping took forever. I know that's not Buddy's problem there, because when they get sauce in the States, they go through that Pitney Bowes or whatever it is, and uh, they use some real off-brand uh, unknown courier company in Canada here. Like, it was slow coming from Mississauga all the way to Alberta here. But I just don't want to force anything on here because I don't want to break anything. I'll have to double check what the ad says too. It says it turns free because it don't turn free. It's probably full of water. But, you will get a bad review about it, that's for sure. This thing definitely got left outside though. Big time. Live and learn, I guess. Seals for it. Uh, bearings are probably fucked. Uh, sorry, excuse the language. I'm just a little miffed at the moment about this. Choke linkage is seized. Yeah, that's. You know, the thing is, too, because Buddy could have included all that in his description because he would have known. I just didn't want to, have to deal with bearings, but it looks like now I'm going to have to deal with bearings because I got to split the case out, so. Yay! This actually doesn't look bad. I mean, I'm gonna dump some kind of lubrication down in there. Yeah, just kind of set up in there. I don't want to force that, but I kind of do at the same time. If I can see anything down in there. Cylinder off, I guess. Oh, Jesus. This is from, I think, Saw King or something like that. This has a lot of saws on there. see what's uh, seized in here. Probably the clipping bottom end.
I'm a little peeled right now. Decomp is missing. Last one loose now, hopefully. Hopefully. No, oh, there we go. I thought I was gonna twist the wrench. It probably is twisted. Just feel it it's twerking like a torsion bar. That came off nicely. Well, the cylinder, there's some rust in there, but the cylinder's good. Like, it's good. This one, yeah, this one looks alright. So, all the corrosion is in the flawed man now. And that sucks balls. I don't care that it's locked up, but. The edge, I said it was locked up. Even in the wrong, but I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, what the hell am I going to I thought this was going to be a more exciting, happy unboxing. I'm a little ticked, but it can definitely be a project. bearings are going to be probably pretty rusty. I was really not hoping not to split case halves on this, but I think it's kind of going to be a gimme. Let that shit soak in, because why not? The bearings are stiff, but I mean, they really don't. Maybe the bearings could be okay, maybe not. I might drain all this. This is just brake fluid. I might drain that out after, but it's loosening up quite well. It's not spewing out of a case. Maybe it is. Ah, that's exactly what it's supposed to do. Making a mess. Making a mess. Okay, so I'm a little less angry now, but still, like, wow. Uh, I wonder if I can get that clutch off so at least I can take a look at one of the bearings. Well, that's it for now. It's an unboxing. It is what it is. Can't do much about it now.